Leave your enemy shocked with this absolutely electrifying build for the lightning sorceress. Welcome everyone, my name is Rusty Pilover, ginger streamer, professional hyper screamer, entertainer extraordinaire. And welcome to the lightning sorcerer slash sorceress build for Diablo 4. Now before we get into it, just to let you know that anything can change since the beta days and I'm sure a lot of this is going to get nerfed but as per usual link down in the description as well as in the pinned comments to check out the Diablo 4 builder that has been updated with all the skills of the sorcerer for Diablo 4 and without any further ado let's get into it so as per usual our skills are broken up into basic core defensive conjuration mastery ultimate and key passive our first skill is going to be Arc Lash, Lucky Hit Chance 30%, Unleash Arcing Lightning that deals 42% damage to enemies in front of you. Every 10 time Arc Lash swipes, it stuns all enemies for 2 seconds. On our upgrade options are Enhanced Arc Lash. If Arc Lash's initial swipe critically strikes, it swipes an additional time. Flickering Arc Lash. Gain plus 6% movement speed for 5 seconds per enemy hit with Arc Lash up to plus 18%. And Glinting Arc Lash. Hitting a stunned enemy with Arc Lash reduces your cooldowns by 0.25 seconds. And our enchantment slot is going to be Spark. Killing an enemy has a 10% chance to form a crackling energy. So later on in this build we are going to make sure that the focus is a little bit on crackling energy with the aspects and some of the other skills but Arc Lash does seem to be one of the better of the two skills at least in my opinion although uh, Spark does look like a fun skill as well so you, here you can pick and choose which one you want to use in your enchantment slot or not. Under our core skills we are going to go with Chain Lightning, Mana Cost 35, Lucky Hit Chance 25%, Unleash a stream of lightning that deals 42% damage and chains between nearby enemies and you up to 6 times, prioritizing enemies. And our upgrade options are Enhanced Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning gains a plus 3% increased critical strike chance per bounce. Greater Chain Lightning. If Chain Lightning bounces off of you, its next hit deals times 25% increased damage. And Destructive Chain Lightning. When Chain Lightning critically strikes, it has a 25% chance to form a Crackling Energy. And our enchantment, we are going to use Charged Bolts. When you stun an enemy, there's a 40% chance to release three Charged Bolts from them. As you can see, the Chain Lightning and the Arc Lash kind of work nicely hand in hand as long as we have enemies that bounce around. And then Charged Bolts does give us that extra bit of Lightning damage to make this build even more shocking. Under our defensive skills, we are going to go with Teleport, Cooldown, 11 seconds, Lucky Hit Chance, 40%. Transform into Lightning, becoming unstoppable and surging to the target location, dealing 25% damage around you upon arrival. And our upgrades are Enhanced Teleport. Teleport's cooldown is decreased by 0.5 seconds per enemy hit, up to 3 seconds. Mystical Teleport. For 4 seconds after teleporting, Crackling Energy hits 2 additional enemies. And Shimmering Teleport. After teleporting, you gain 30% damage reduction for 5 seconds. And to further upgrade, we are going to use Elemental Attunement. Lucky Hit. Critical Strikes have a 5% chance to reset the cooldowns of one of your defensive skills. Can only happen once every 10 seconds. A classic staple of the sorceress just being tweaked a little bit more to do some offensive damage teleport is going to be our main way to get in and out of a lot of these fights as well as trying to maintain our defensive side because we are a little bit glass cannon under our conjuration we are going to go with lightning spear cooldown 20 seconds lucky hit chance 35 percent conjure a spear of lightning that seeks out enemies for six seconds dealing 15 percent damage per hit and our upgrade options are Enhanced Lightning Spear. After critically striking, Lightning Spear gains a plus 5 increase stacking critical strike chance for its duration. Summoned Lightning Spear. 
Collecting crackling energy increases the damage of your next lightning spear cast by times 20% up to 100%. Invoke lightning spear. Lightning spear stuns enemies for 2 seconds while critically striking. And to further enhance that, we're going to use Conjuration Mastery. You deal times 1% increased damage for each active conjuration. You'll notice that there's a trend here that we're not using the enchantment slots that much for the lightning build because a lot of these skills do work nicely as passives. Now obviously you can go and switch around what you want to do here. We only have six skills to use. So whichever ones you feel are more comfortable in your enchantment slots, that's where you want to put them. But so far this build is looking absolutely amazing. For our mastery, we are going to go with ball lightning, mana cost 50, lucky hit chance 20%. Discharge a ball of lightning that slowly moves forward, continually zapping enemies for 18% damage. To further enhance that, enhance ball lightning. Ball lightning's damage rate is increased by 200% of your attack speed bonus. Major's ball lightning. After hitting close enemies 50 times with ball lightning, your next cast of it stuns enemies hit for one second. And wizard's ball lightning. If an enemy is hit at least four times by a cast of ball lightning, a crackling energy is formed can only happen once per cast. But we could also enchant this. Lucky hit. Critical strikes have a 25% chance to spawn a static ball lightning. one you can either choose to have a active effect or a passive effect that are actually both really good so this is really up to your choice whether you want mastery to be that enchantment slot or not under our ultimate we are going to go with unstable currents cooldown 70 seconds lightning surges within you for 10 seconds whenever you cast a shock skill a random core conjuration or mastery shock skill is also cast and to further upgrade that, we can go with Prime Unstable Currents. Unstable Currents increases your attack speed by plus 25% while active. And Supreme Unstable Currents, while Unstable Currents is active, Crackling Energy continually pulses and consumes no charges. To further upgrade our ultimates, Coursing Currents. Hitting enemies with shock skills increases your critical strike chance by plus 1%. Resets upon getting a critical strike. Conduction. Critical strikes with shock skills increase your movement speed by plus 3% for 3 seconds. Electrocution. Enemies deal 5% less damage for 5 seconds after being critically struck by your shock skills. And convulsions. Lucky hit. Shock skills have a 3% chance to stun enemies for 3 seconds. And as you can see, that ultimate is actually unbelievably nasty. Combined with teleport, as far as I know, this will work with teleport. Jump in, pull everyone in with your teleport, and then absolutely dominate with unstable currents. It's absolutely disgusting how ridiculously strong this build is. And to further enhance it, we're going to go with one or two key passives. It's an either or. Your first key passive is overflowing energy. Crackling energy hits one additional enemy. Each time crackling energy hits an enemy, your shock skill cooldowns are reduced by 0.1 seconds, increased to 0.25 seconds against elite, or Veer's Mastery. Close enemies take times 10% increased damage from your shock skills and deal 20% less damage to you. Critical strikes increase these bonuses by 25% for 3 seconds. And that right there are all the skills that you will need for your sources and as you can see the lightning bolt is actually unbelievably ludicrously strong you can really control the tide of battle decimate the enemies in front of you and leave them in a shock state but that's not all we are going to be using some aspects and as usual these aspects are divided into offensive defensive utility resource and mobility bear with me there are quite a few aspects that you can use under the offensive tree namely aspect of abundant energy crackling energy has a 20 to 30 percent chance to chain to an additional enemy aspect of overwhelming currents unstable currents has a 10 to 20 percent chance to cast an additional shock skill 
aspect of splintering energy. Lightning Spear has an 11 to 20% chance to spawn an additional Lightning Spear when you cast it. Aspect of Static Cling. Your casts of Charge Bolt have a 15 to 25% chance to be attracted to enemies and last 300% longer. Aspect of Unbroken Tether. Chain Lightning has a 25 to 35% chance to chain two additional times. Gravitational aspect, ball lightning orbits around you, but its damage is decreased by 10 to 20 percent. Mage Lord's aspect, the Veer's mastery key passive's damage reduction is increased by 20 to 30 percent for each close enemy, up to 60 to 90 percent. Stable aspect, while unstable currents is not active, your shock skills have a 5 to 10 percent chance to trigger a free cast from it. Isadora's Overflowing Camet. Upon collecting Crackling Energy, there is a 10% chance to release a Lightning Nova, dealing 155 to 200 Lightning Damage. Staff of Lam Eason. Charge Bolts Pierce, but deal times 30 to 40% less damage. Under our defensive, we are only going to go with Aspect of the Protector. Damaging an elite enemy grants you a barrier, absorbing up to 375 to 750 damage for 10 seconds. This effect can only happen once every 30 seconds. Under Utility, Harlequin's Crest. Gain 5 to 8% damage reduction. In addition, gain plus 2 ranks to all skills. Raiment of the Infinite. After using teleport, close enemies are pulled to you and stunned for 2 to 3 seconds, but teleport's cooldown is increased by times 20%. Under your resource, aspect of concentration, your mana regeneration is increased by times 10 to 20% if you have not taken damage in the last 3 seconds. Recharging aspect, each time chain lightning bounces off you, gain 4 to 6 mana. And mother's embrace. If a core skill hits 5 or more enemies, 20 to 40% of the resource cost is refunded. And mobility, aspect of the bounding conduit, gain 20 to 25% movement speed for 3 seconds after using teleport. And charged aspect, collecting crackling energy increases your movement speed by plus 10 to 15% for 4 seconds. And that right there is your Diablo 4 Lightning Sorcerer slash Sorceress. How would you build this? How did you like that build? Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this build. How would you change it? Which aspect would you go for? And are you looking forward to being a lightning ball zipping around everywhere doing a serious bunch of damage? Let me know down below what you thought. And are you excited to play the Sorceress? I'm quite excited. But I firmly believe that the Sorceress might just get a little bit nerfed before Diablo gets released. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed that. Apologies for my itchy nose. If you did, please do consider leaving a like. And if you did enjoy this video and you want to find more Diablo 4 content, you know what to do. And do let me know. Is the Sorceress starting to speak to you? Is this going to be one of your favorite classes to play? The Sorceress does sound like one of the most OP characters in Diablo history. And I'm looking forward to seeing your builds. Let me know down below what you're going to be building. What are your enchantment slots going to look like? And until then, Sanctuary awaits.